Uh, Steve, uh, what happened at halftime that led to such a good defensive performance in the third quarter? You guys forced nine turnovers, held them to 21 points, and got back in the game. Yeah, more activity. You know, we... <clears throat> Randall was putting so much pressure on us in the half court and, and the full court. Um, you know, we were defensively too stagnant, sitting and watching him, and it was comfortable for them. They were they were all comfortable making shots, so we tried to speed it up. We tried to show more support when you tried to, you know, throw in the odd double team or, or blitz and um, just up the pace at that end and try to make them uncomfortable. So our, our guys played harder and uh, in the second half and held them to 45 points, which was... Uh, considerable considering their first half outage. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey Steve, uh, what, what happened with James and kind of what do you know now about what was going to happen? Hmm. Where are you guys going? You know, very similar to the last time, you know, he, he just has an awareness of something's not right in his hammy. Uh, his his scan was clean, as we reported. His um, his strength tests when he came back in the locker room were, were, were normal. Um, so it's just something where we have to protect him. We have to trust him. Very frustrating for James, but, you know, we can't risk it um, if we can afford not to. And, and so that, that depends on trust between us and James and making sure that he feels comfortable in the decision. And I thought tonight the right decision decision was to not take any risks with him so you know who knows uh this may linger it may be all behind us like we thought it was before the game but it's just one of those things where the scan is clean his strength tests are clean but he feels something so we're, we're going to err on the side of caution Brian Lewis with the new york post hey steve just following up on the just, just just so i understand this the strength test he took more strength tests today not obviously not new scans today but just more strength tests in the locker room yeah when he went back they tested his strength they you know they uh, i'm sure they they pushed and prodded and and uh and the report was that they they couldn't declare there was anything but uh you know he's feeling something and we believe him it's frustrating and, and um but we don't have any indicator that this is a long-term thing or that he's done any damage to it you know like we said the scam was clear his strength is still there so um we just have to proceed day by day and monitor it and hopefully it's a very short-term thing alex schiffer with the athletic Hey, Steve, what do you think of your guys' execution down the stretch? Outside of that one turnover by Kyrie, it seems like you guys got what you were looking for out of most of those possessions. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job. You know, we got our signals crossed a little bit um, on the one turnover. Uh, other than that, you know, great experience for our guys to see, you know, um, you know, again, yeah, similar to some of our other games recently, we haven't had guys that would typically be in there at the end of the game, and so they're getting experience and reps uh, and different looks. And tonight they were they were running a second defender at Kyrie, and uh, you know, for the most part, we handled all the situations quite well other than the turnover. And uh, you know, just incredibly proud of the guys the way they played in the second half. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, coach, it, it just seems like. Every other day, it's one person that goes down, somebody else goes down, somebody else might come back, and then somebody else goes down. How do you keep the team level? How do you keep guys, you know, ready just in case somebody or something like this happens? Yeah, I mean, it's a group effort. The players have to buy in um, to their roles. The stay ready group is important. I mean, look at tonight. Cheese got in and and, and contributed. Uh, Alizé was outstanding. Um, TLC played extended minutes. Guys that have been in the stay ready group recently. Um, so... You know, proud of, of the amount of guys who contributed. Um, you know, we, we, we have a positive attitude in our locker room. We have a winning mentality. And, and regardless of who's out there or not, um, we're going to go for it. We're going to find a way to, to come together and push and try to win. You can't win every night, but you can try to figure it out and solve problems every night. And our guys were terrific tonight, again, at, at finding the way. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Steve, that winning mentality emerges late in ball games. I, I just wanted to know what it means to you to be able to win another close game and come from behind fashion. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know it's it's great for a number of reasons. Obviously a win is important. Um, you know, having a poor first half and finding a way to to turn the game in our favor. It, it took guts, it took a lot of hustle, it took um, a, real, a lot of fight and uh, and it also took a lot of guys who normally aren't in that position to step up and play and play well. So i um, proud of the group and it was an excellent win, all things considered. Um, these are the wins that you know you kind of remember because uh, so many guys contributed. It was um, a game that we were in totally different rotations for the first time once again seemingly and, uh, and we figured it out 
out. We stuck with it, and we really won the game with our mentality and effort.